Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. I'm actually... I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Kira's playing Metroid Zero Mission. Hello. Whoa. Whoa. Don't be that serious. Come on now. Alright. It's just All Metroid right. Zero Mission. I don't know what you think about serious? it. Serious? Are we doing... Alright. Are we doing this again? It's the final countdown. I'm not doing that. Are we really <laughs> doing this again? Yes, is, we are. He is back so soon. Is he really just like, Hey, hey, it's me again. You know what? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm playing chicken with him, and he's winning. Uh, he's. he's oh, I couldn't a, aim. He is a much better chicken. <laughs> he's better at being a chicken. Than <laughs> well, he he's, runs away. He's better at like. Uh, Ooh, you got a headache. It looks like he got him. <gasps> charge me! I got the charge me. <laughs> You're like, am I, should I move that? I don't know. I'm just making <laughs> sure. I haven't even checked any of the previous. Uh, All right, but you know it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Whatever, man. So yes. Look at look at that. Look. <sighs> oh, some Mega Man shit right there. Yeah. Uh, Mega Man had the charge shot before Samus did. Uh, if memory serves me right. Because the charge shot wasn't in regular Metroid, was it? Yeah, I don't remember. I know. I, I, I'll be honest. I don't actually remember. Pretty sure she just had the ice beam and the wave beam. Yeah, I think that's it. And uh, Mega Man Four. When did that come out? I don't remember when Mega Man Four came out, but that was the game that introduced the so, Mega Buster. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! There's Axel. Well, hey! Uh, that's not. Oh! 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 oh. Hey, he's looking at you, Sam. Uh. Mother brain, you just have one eye. But a lot of brain tissue. Okay, okay. Uh, mother brain. Real talk? What's her deal? Um, she She's in charge of the space pirates. I, either that or they're just using her as well, an intelligence. I mean, like, I, I mean, specifically her origins. Oh, um... Is, is there any explanation on Mother Brain's origins? Yeah, uh, uh, Metroid because... Prime 3 goes into the Auroras, which were uh, like an artificial brain designed to... Oh yeah, I know where I gotta go. Uh, designed to make, <laughs> uh, to be able to predict things and do a lot of the thinking for them. And Mother Brain's just one of them that went rogue. Really? Could, yeah, you actually meet you meet a male one that's like whoa, super whoa, polite. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Later you, on, you telling me that because no one has ever told me that the the Metroid lore was so deep like that. Actually, the the thing I like about the this this is why Metroid is my favorite Nintendo franchise. It has the one thing that no other Nintendo franchise really has for me, and that's that all the games are consistent and they stick to continuity, like. All, all of them. They you just, do they have a point there. They stick to their continuity. They follow you do what happened in the there. last game. We will mention it. We will be accurate. The only time they've really broken that rule for me is when they kind of, with other M, I mean, obviously, oh, yeah. the the personality thing, that's not how I, I don't see that as canon. That is seriously... I kind of just ignore other M as, as a part of the franchise. Well, other M is seriously the Legend of Zelda, the Adventure of Link, or I guess I might as well say the fucking Wand of Gamelon or something. And that's that not to say it's not fun to play, because the gameplay and the graphics are are fucking amazing. Which it's, I just don't like Samus in that story. It's really sad. It's really sad because I I, I don't want to be the first person to say that a story will ruin a game for me. Especially because, like, uh, I fucking played Diablo 3 and I'm sorry, the story in that <laughs> yeah, game is... That... The story in that game is absolute <sighs> garbage and anyone that appreciates it... <gasps> Birdie. Birdie? Birdie. From Street Fighter Alpha? It's an unknown item. It's oh. unknown. We don't know. Alright. What's um, it gonna do? Oh I don't I don't ooh. know what it does. Inconclusive. I don't know what it does. In, in, it's incomputable with my suit. We were talking about other M. We were. And like how bad it is. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Do you wanna play it? Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know honestly, if if I'm playing with you and I'm just like talking all over, over the story shit. It's genuinely a really fun and beautiful game. Well, okay. That's what so that's what sucks about it is I don't want to count it as canon because I don't want to believe that that Samus is Samus. She just 
But no, it's, uh, it, it's really interesting because I've never been one to say that a story would ruin a game for me. Yeah. Um, I think, in my opinion, because I haven't played other M, so from my perception of things, Diablo 3 is one of the worst stories I've ever heard of. But <laughs> for... For a game, to, for a game story to be whoa, whoa. so bad that it overshadows everything else about the game, including what I imagine is very fun and solid gameplay. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is really sad. It is. I think uh, Team Ninja has committed a great sin. <laughs> they, no, they, they, they don't. They don't fuck. <coughs> I could probably just stand up and yeah. I mean, maybe wasting time. Right maybe there. it really was Nintendo that committed the sin. Well, I okay. That looks really creepy. That does look. Is, is that like a Chozo statue? Take or? this, if you will. Yes, that is a that is a giant Chozo statue. He's got like weird little nose tusks that like go sideways. Uh, I think they're like pipey thingies going to the back of his head. Or oh, something. you mean like a breathing apparatus? Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like to that's me. That's weird. Yeah, Chozo are pretty. They're pretty crazy people. Look at that. Look at me hanging on you the wall. You got the power grip. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can do. I can. I can do pull-ups. <laughs> Sam is getting buff. Going to the gun show. Well, Ooh, then. hello. Looks like you've got a way out. Grabby McTowerson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Now the game, the other M really is a fun game. I just uh, one of the things I did learn about it in the defense of Team Ninja is that uh, one of the original, I think there's like two or three people kind of created the first game, and I think one of them, uh, one of them said something about like he he wanted to always wanted to see a softer side of Samus in a game at some point. So I think ah. they might have been trying to go for that angle. Um, simply because they knew he, he had said that, but like I said, I just didn't, I didn't like that they went with, you know, the theme, they just went with the theme so strongly and so I overhanded. just want to be blunt here, but I would not speak in defense of Team Ninja for basically having, like, a really misguided view on the character. Yes, very, very, Like, okay, very okay, misguided. I... I understand someone wanting to see a softer side of Samus, which has been seen before, right? Yes. Yeah. We, we didn't need Team Dude, Ninja Metroid to show Two, Met and, and Su oh, I didn't mean to jump in the ship. Uh, Metroid Two and Super Metroid, the ba you know, the whole thing with the baby Metroid is really endearing. For the record, I'm not sure how many people have played Metroid Two. Well, yeah, I'm no, not you're sure right. how I'm popular that game is. It act, as as far as Game Boy games goes, it's actually very games. popular and very really? expensive. Yes, I see. It is a very it is a very well respected game because it is actually in many ways almost as good as the original game. It's all, all, almost easier to navigate certain parts too. Wow. Um. So like you know, as opposed to games like that have Game Boy versions like Mega Man or Mario, I feel like that was one of the. That was one of the more popular Game Boy sequels. But yeah, I mean, just just imagine, like, okay, imagine if someone, like, boo boo. Imagine if someone took the character. Uh, I'm trying to be very, very careful with the example I use here. <laughs> it it really is a, a bummer because it means I have to think on the show. Oh, I gotta think. I have to think about Jace, stuff. Why do I gotta think about the crying things? out loud? I'm only used to thinking whenever I'm like. You know, uh, playing role-playing games. Ooh. Well, for 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 one minute, Metroid's a role-playing game. I'm okay, a, I'm so in a dark dungeon. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. What if someone uh took the character? Apparently, I don't got it. Aww. What if someone? Okay, 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 okay. What if someone? Had taken the character. Uh... <laughs> How many syllables it got? <laughs> you know what? I, I really don't think it's important. That basically the, the thing the thing I was trying to explain is like, what if someone took a character who primarily has one type of personality? Yeah. And if someone was like, what if that character had this type of personality instead? Without really considering 
how the character might actually act with that kind of personality. Yeah. Because while you're you're correct, I'm sure it was just some guy that was like, what if Samus had a softer side? He really didn't consider, as far as I know, as far as what I've been told about how the story of the game goes, he really didn't consider, like, things that actually applied to the character. Yeah, no, no, he, he directly ignored a lot of he, them. He like, basically uh, just took stockpiled softer side traits and just pasted them on this Samus. Is, this is what people think of when they think of women, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh god, did I, turn this, did I turn this video into a political thing? No, no, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I don't even think it's a weird gender thing. I just really think that it's, it's, it's a big... It, it's, it's a very big sign of wishful thinking. Yeah. Just from what you explained, it was like they they made this character on purpose. Yeah. They implemented these aspects of the character on purpose. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, sure. There are previous games that hints to Samus uh, feeling sorry for the baby Metroid or whatever, but it's never like that, right? No, never. No, it's no just we've like never a... seen that side of Samus, literally. Because I've seen the end of Super Metroid, and that shit is actually really heartbreaking. It is. It's, it's really... It's so fucking heartbreaking. <sighs> Did you, by the way, just see me boss that room? Um, <laughs> I was too busy talking about social issues, I guess. You're like, I'm too busy wiping a tear out of my eye. I've also lost track of time. Next time on B-Ryan Plays oh, Video Games... Oh, shit! Not... Okay, can we... Hold on, Let hold it on. go! Before... Let it go! Hey. Yeah? Before yeah. we continue... Before we continue... You're gonna have to stop doing that. Before we continue... We're gonna have to make a pact. We have spent this episode talking about Other M. We will not talk about it anymore. Yeah, we're just gonna... Is that a good idea? Yeah, I agree. That's a good idea. I like it. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love the confidence. Uh